welcome back to another segment of Veterans Did You Know? I'm Dave Ewing with the County Department of Veterans Affairs and with me today is Dr. Dennis Cobbler and uh, Dennis has worn many hats in the community for a long time and uh, uh, he's an optometrist uh, and he's with the Lions Club uh, locally and internationally and, and with the vets he helped start the whole Veterans Service Center concept in the state of Michigan and especially here in Muskegon and uh, and now the Lions, uh, with his hat with the Lions Club and his veterans, is uh, instrumental in getting the Vets Park whipped into shape. And uh, I think that's where he kind of left off the last one, Dennis. We were talking about uh, uh, the long-term thing. We were talking about not just the infrastructure of the lights buried and the replacement of the, the, uh, the lights up on uh, the side of the road that looks so terrible. And uh, we want to put the, you know, damn the, um, the, the south, the north end of the park up so we can put the walkway all the way around the continued mm -hmm. veteran trail around there up, up over the top and back down and we've got a lot of plans for it. We got to, you know, we, we're taking it short bites where you'll know, get the infrastructure of the lights first and then we'll extend the trail and we'll stabilize the banks, get the cattails out of there. Uh, we even talked about the, uh, the fountain up front. Uh, that's uh, people don't realize that that's about six thousand dollars I think we spent last year on electrical bills just mm -hmm. on that fountain to keep that fountain operational. <laughs> Yeah, it's not very efficient, it's very old, and uh, I don't know how many people have told us. Uh, I remember as a kid, we used to get an ice cream cone and drive by that thing, it was real bright, red, white, and blue, and the lights, and now it's kind of like, damn, it doesn't, you know, are my eyes getting bad, or is the lights got dimmer? <laughs> it was uh, like probably a combination of both. But. I think that was an original, uh, the, the fountain was an original project yep. Yep. by uh, the Muskegon Exchange Club. Yep. And I, and I did belong to that organization for 13 years, also served as their president, but we talked about uh, one of the uh, architects in the club. Uh, I think in the 70s, we came back out and redid all the lighting and everything. But it is an expensive proposition. And we've heard uh, a lot of different things on how to make that look a lot better and yeah. be much more yeah, cost effective. Type thing well, that, we that talked about uh, putting uh, one of the ideas was bringing in some boulders and stack the boulders, then have the water cascading over Down. the sides. Yeah. and. That would eliminate all the water runoff in the park because, yep. the, again, the, uh, the east side, it gets real soggy, real soggy out there, out there. because of the, the west wind blowing the water out, out of the fountain. Yeah. So, but that's one of them. You know, and I have a personal... The flagpole, you're talking about the flagpole. Yeah, we, what we wanted to do is get one that's a bigger 70-foot pole with a much bigger base because we like to fly a big flag like big flag a like heritage landing yeah, that's right pay attention 30, to what 20 by 30s out there yeah, get a that. big one well they one they got right now just can't handle that no, and it's a very expensive proposition to get the guys out there to fix that but i i also have a pet peeve with uh because you mentioned your trail uh, my name's out there in the trail mm -hmm. along with my deceased father-in-law yep. who was a 30-year army veteran and uh, quite honestly uh Every time I go out there, I gotta, goose poop. I gotta clean the goose yeah. poop off, and uh, I, I know people like to see nature and everything, but there's a lot of places, a lot of wetlands, those geese can go. They're not supposed to be there. People feed them. And I know, and you that's, know, science says do not feed the geese. But oh, uh, my them. God, it's it's so uh, yeah. goose droppings everywhere, and mostly on the sidewalk. I mean, they just even if they did it in the grass, you could live with that. Yeah. But no, they they. It's all over the names, and that's to me that's a desecration. I, and it could be easily eliminated. So, you know, the reeds and the geese. That's uh, not necessarily an horrible. Thing no, either. and I've <laughs> we've also heard that you, uh, if you put a retainer wall in there and then raise it up yeah, three stop. or four inches, the geese will stop coming because they won't hop over something into the water. They like to slide in. Yeah. Well, let them slide someplace slide else. Slide and on down the road. Is it yeah, yeah, move on down the road. That's right. <laughs> but I mean, there's so many things we could do, and I, and there are people that say, you know, you're putting a lot of money into a park when there's so many other human needs uh, out there. But you still have to have a place that you can go. That's the history. That's the, 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 I, I, there are remains out there because there's no place. There's there's markers of. Uh, uh, one of the very first year we put the 1996 we were putting the first markers down and I was personally putting one down and a young lady came up with two kids and and uh, I said hey can I help you find something she said oh I'm looking I know where mine is and I said oh what's the name so so and I, I remember I said it was KIA I mm -hmm. said oh your husband was killed in action yeah he was killed in Vietnam and my both of my children really never not got to know yeah, their dad there one was yeah, one that's one very was very two. sad yeah and they said so this is where we come the mm -hmm. body wasn't recovered so this is where we come. This is our our place to come to be with their dad, or at least. 
and I and uh, and I said there's 3,100 names out there, and everything from the Civil War to kids just got back from Iraq and Afghanistan, mm -hmm. or got markers out there. That's the history. That's the history of this community. And as you walk that trail and you look at those names, you go, well, I know that family. Well, I know that family. Well, I know that family. And that is that's the history of this community, and very proud of that part. So that's uh, that that's hallowed ground to us. That's it's very important. And. Uh, so if you want to help, if you if you'd like to help us, you can uh, like like Dennis said, what was it, the community foundation in Nassau? Yes, the uh, easy way to give. Uh, you can make uh, donations to the Muskegon County Community Foundation in the name of the Veterans Park Improvement Fund. Uh, we're taking. Uh, we'd be happy to take any sizable donation of any size. Uh, we have thought it would be so much easier if everybody would just. Uh, if we get six or seven hundred, eight hundred people giving a hundred dollars, uh, that's a, it's a write-off because it goes to the foundation, and every dollar that you put in goes directly to the park because the uh, the interest and the uh, administrative cost of that fund, running that fund, is paid for by the Northside Lions and Vietnam Veterans Chapter 31. So uh, we have agreed together to pay all administrative funds wow. so that if you put a hundred dollars in there you know a hundred dollars goes to the park and that's we uh, decided to do that last year so uh, Vietnam Veterans of America Chapter 31 and Muskegon Northside Lions uh, another one of our partnerships we said let's do it and so if you're uh, sitting out there and you've been past that park and you think it's beautiful and like to maintain it you make it uh, more lovely than what it is or to honor the vets, and you say, how do I do? How can I do something that stays in my own community? Here's a project that we're working on very hard. Uh, so like Dan said, I, if it's five bucks or 500 bucks, it, uh, mm -hmm. it, whatever you can afford, or, uh, and, or if you, you can donate that in memory of uh, a loved one in, in honor of them as a, uh, as a memorial, and uh, then you know that you've uh, done something to, uh, to honor that veteran in your family or the individual that you know, or just to thank the vets uh, uh, for what they did, uh, you know, and that's what that's what our park kind of does. And uh, I understand this year again, uh, uh, Dennis uh, Veterans Day is coming up here, November 11th, 11 o'clock, 11th day, 11th hour. Uh, we have always have a program out in the Vets Park, right at the right behind the fountain there. And uh, uh, Dennis is going to be the guest speaker this year. And uh, while we got him with her speaking, they tabbed him for the second go around, which is uh, at the Lakes Mall. At one o'clock in the afternoon, down in the food court, and there's another program goes in indoor there because the vets park is uh, as iffy out there sometimes. Uh, I, I remember we gone out there and actually shoveled off that walkway so we could get up there and do it, and had rain and wind. Or some days it's beautiful, just like it is today uh, out there. So, uh, uh, but if there's no excuse for you not to get to the mall to be no. indoors where it's you know it's clear and dry and and, and honor your veterans. So uh, that's the day we kind of set aside. And Dennis is going to be speaking both places. Um, Again, so if you uh, if you're interested in the Lions Club, uh, Dennis, that number was seven two seven four four eight nine two four. Okay, and uh, you give them a call, and uh, uh, they give you all kinds of information. If you want to join the Lions Club, if you'd like to donate glasses or hearing aids, or make a donation, or just to help out, uh, again, these these agencies are all working together because none of us can do it on our own. I don't care who you are. Uh, and then it's what's nice that you can sit down and collaborate uh, because yep. with the, all the other agencies and, and as a group we can make it done uh, but you still need the community to support you need the community to get behind you and be willing to uh, uh, to hey write a check let's do that just you know if you're sitting there thinking about doing it and you haven't done it yet do it it's real simple yep. write a check send it to the community foundation or give us a call here at the vet center 724-7143 uh, uh, and we'll give you the same information if you didn't catch all this on, on the numbers and stuff. I think they ran the numbers across here as, as we've been talking. Uh, uh, but do it. Just don't sit there and think, well, I should do something. To, to be a part of the, uh, of the solution. Don't be a part of the problem by just not, by not helping out. All right?